hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Bokis. how are you all doing today's class will be on how to make a cow dress which is going to be very very beautiful then we eat a high slit in front isn't that just beautiful so before we get started please check out my other channel pattern drafting with blakey's and blakey's signatures you can follow me on instagram blakey's signatures and on facebook sewing innovation if you are interested in our monthly online classes and the sewing tools you see me use every now and then please use the contact number in the description box below to get in touch with us now i'm making use of a chiffon material as you can see in this video but please when you're making yours use a flowery satin chiffon crepe any type of beautiful material to make yours i just had to go for a plain fabric so that you see everything i'm working on here i have two yards two and a half yards of fabric so all i did was to fold once into two then fold again into four so that was all i did so and this size for a, a small size for wear it a medium size a plus size you could use this exact same measurement i'm making use of it's like a one dress fits all yeah so what do we do the first thing is to get the starting point so this will be the starting point the next thing you are going to need is your hip measurement so from the starting point I inserted my hip measurement which is 24 inches and then I went down to the hem of the dress which is 41 inches with similar ones it's actually a short dress you can also make it long if you wish to so let's get started the first thing now we are going to do is to insert the three inches first so this is will be where the three inches will be so it's the satin fabric is going to be moving here and there the next thing will be to insert your the measurement from your center back to your sleeve whatever you want it to stop and this type of dress is not really a long sleeve so it's something big before your elbow so for me i'm making use of 19 inches with seam allowance which is quite short and nice but you could extend it but for this type of dress just make it maximum your elbow level that is from the bone at your back straight to wherever you want it to stop but maximum of where your elbow is is fine so after doing that since i have 19 so what I'm going to do now is after inserting the 3 inches, measure 19 inches. So plus seam allowance, I'll just make it 20. So 20 inches is here. From that 20 inches, I'm just going to go down by 1 and half. 1 and half to 2. Good. I will have to take my ruler and just connect from that 3 inches straight down to that point. working with a chiffon fabric so it's moving here and there so that's that but this is actually where the 20 inches is after doing that the next thing is you need to determine the opening on around your arm whereby the belt is going to pass through so for me i'm just going to make it like 11 then remember you will need half an inch at the upper part to sew it up and half an inch at the lower part so with that i'm just going to make it 12. so for yourself you can make it between 12 to 14 depending on how much opening you want so let's just make it 13. that's good i think that's open enough but between 12 to 14 is fine so after noting that the next thing we are going to do is to go to the hip region quarter of my hip measurement is 11 and a half it is 46 so when you divide that by four you have 11 and a half so let's just say 12. so the, to that 12 just had about four inches to that so to make it 16. for a small size pressing medium plus size this measurement is okay it's gonna fit you yes because it's a free cow dress that's what I have here 16 so let's connect that before I pull up the dress so let me just use my hip curve using the curvy part 
right here. So you can use your stretch relaxing for a little curve on the back. So we are done with that. So we can quickly work on the neckline. So note, this is the opening we are going to have. Then from there, I curved it down to the E area. So for the neckline, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make a width of 4 inches. So that 4, this is 3, so the 4 will be along the slope. 4 inches is fine. Then now for the depth, for the back, I'm going to make it 1.5. For the front, I'm going to make that seven inches. With my hammer curl, first the back. That's the back neckline, then the front. I want that to be a V, so for that V, you can come in like quarter of an inch straight and call it down. Shivam is moving. This is what I have. This the back is for the front. So let me move it up now. After pulling it up, this is what I have. This is the M and then the seam allowance. So what do I do here? All I have to do is this. Remember, at the E region, I made use of 16. I had it extra for to the 12. So I'm just going to insert that 12 inches at the hem here. Plus half an inch that should be for sewing. The next thing is to connect down here. So from somewhere here, just go down by let's say four. So you can use your ruler to do that. So I'm just using the straighter part here. moving here and there so this is what I have so at this point just blend this in take your time now this is what I have can you see that just hope it's very visible. So after doing that, that is all we have to do. The next thing now is to indicate the slit in front. Yes, you are wondering why we are cutting it together, but you get it as we go on. What I have to do now is this. From the M, I can just come up by 10 to 12, depending on how high you want to show up some skin. It totally depends on your preference, but I'm making use of 10. This is 10. Then you can go in by, let's say, between 3 to 3 and a half. It's fine. It's nice, easy working with Shimon keeps moving here and there. Can you see that? So let's just make a little curve here because you don't want it sharp. cutting it let me start cutting it from the lower part but please do not cut this yet just straight this way because the back has to be straight
that part is going to be the opening. We'll have to notch that point. We'll have to notch this point. After notching, you have to cut the back neckline. So just had quarter of an inch as you're cutting the shoulder region. Just quarter is fine. So this is what we have. The next thing now is for us to remove the inner one so that we can finish the front. So this will be the back. Let's set that aside fold back. And after removing it, then we can cut the front neckline. Good. Then we can move it up to cut the slit in front. Take your time. Just follow the curve. So this is the front. You see, and this is the front. So beautiful. The back is just normal. As you can see that there's the neckline. So the back is just normal. So the next thing now is for us to start sewing it off. The first thing we need to do is first you have to sew up the shoulders remember we left quarter of an inch on the wrong side that is right side facing each other then sew quarter of an inch at the other side quarter of an inch after doing that then you will use a bias strip you can use the store board or this same fabric to do that i'm going to hem the neckline all around both the front and the back after doing that then you come over to the sleeve opening Remember, once you sew up the shoulder, then you just have one piece opening. What you now do is to start from this first notch, fold half an inch, fold half an inch again, and then you sew it all down from the first notch and stop here. You do the same thing to the other parts. Join the shoulder. I've hemmed the neckline. I have to press it with a pressing iron. I've not done that. Then I hang the sleeve opening. So as you can see, when you're making yours, I would advise you to make the opening up to like 15 or 16. Yes, it will look better. So now I am, you know, hem the opening. And what I did next was to hem from the opening straight down. As you can see what we have now. Can you see that's so beautiful? You just need to see how lovely the cow formation looks like. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do now is to take this to the sewing machine again and then hem this. So you could just start from somewhere here and then you just follow the curve straight all around. And after that, you're done. Then we'll put it on the mannequin for us to see how beautiful cow dress we've just made. And trust me, it's looking so beautiful. It is on the plus size mannequin and you can see how it looks so wonderful on me it looks wow without the belt i love it without a belt but right now i'm going to put in the belt so you see what it looks like this is it with the belt and you can see it is still looking awesome so with the belt or without the belt depends on your preference so if this tutorial has been helpful please give me a giant thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'm going to put it on a medium size mannequin so that you see how it looks still this is the dress on a medium size mannequin and it's still looking so beautiful. So that was what I meant by 
a one size fits all. Even a small size person can still put it on and it will look so wonderful. If this tutorial has been helpful, please give me a giant thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I remain your girl, Bye, guys.